Hey, it's Ryan from UpFitSupply.com and in this video we're going to be installing some Holman window screens on the rear doors in our GMC Savannah. Let's get started. Okay, Holman does provide an illustrated installation guide with this product in the box. Grab yours and reference that for the ultimate source of information. We're of course doing our best to follow that as well. So what we have here is our two window screens sold as a set of two. And these are side specific, so you're gonna see a little plate on both of these screens. This one right here says 4072C-2. This is specifically for the Savannah and Express rear windows. Um, if you're watching this video and maybe you have a different van, it's gonna be a different part number but the installation is gonna be pretty much the same because these all install basically the same. So what I'm gonna do is figure out which side goes where because like I said, these are side specific. So I figured out which side the window screens go on. We have uh, dash one is gonna go on the driver's side over here. Dash two is going to be on the passenger side. Now one thing I wanna show you is our rear windows have the little you know, mechanism to open the windows. These do not work with this out of the box. So um, you can see everything else lines up. So as you can see, there is a conflict right here with this little mechanism, this latch for opening and closing that window. So what I'm going to do is make some marks, basically cut ourselves a little hole right here. Okay, so you can see I put a little cut out in here. Obviously you can cut metal, whatever tool you wanna to use for that. Obviously modifying the product like this is going to void your warranty with Holman. So take that into consideration. Um, but I'd rather have this glass protected than have nothing because that's really the only other option you have is no window screens. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with this installation process. It's pretty simple. We're just going to hold this up against the window. We're gonna use a marker or something to mark where these loops match up with the sheet metal on the sides of these windows. Now that we have our marks on the sheet metal, we're going to go ahead and use our drill with the drill stop on it to put in some holes. So now with our holes drilled, we're gonna go ahead and take our window screens, line them up with those holes, and take our included hardware and screw those into place. So we don't want these super tight yet. We just want a hole or a screw in every hole. Then we'll come back through here and tighten them. And then you still don't want them too tight because you're just going to sheet metal with sheet metal screws. These do not need to be really torqued too much. Well, that just about does it for this installation. This is going to, number one, protect this glass. So if I have any lumber, tools, equipment, whatever, kind of hanging off a shelf or whatever it may be and I slam the door shut. Or when I'm unloading and loading, it's just gonna bounce off of this rather than shatter that nice expensive glass back here. Secondary benefit obviously is going to be, it's another layer of security. You got a window back here, people looking in, see what you got going on. It's just gonna help deter some of that uh, activity that might happen for those who have prying eyes. Now, if you're looking for these window screens, or any other equipment to get your van or truck ready for work, be sure to check us out up at supply.com. Again, my name is Ryan. Have a good one.